This is the Amazon Echo Dot. The, the, the one that doesn't have the built-in clock is the one that I have. And this thing sounds great, it works great, and it's fantastic, but you've got a wire that comes out of the back for power, and it's going to take up like desk space or a counter space or something like that. Jeff, where is yours residing right now? Uh, ours is in the kitchen sitting on the windowsill, actually. Okay. There's a plug right beside the windowsill. So That's ideal. We have maybe, you know, half a foot of cord. Yeah. And so it runs behind the silverware, and then it sits right on the windowsill, and it's perfect. It's out of okay. the way, and it's uh, it's got nice acoustics bouncing off the window. We use it for music in the kitchen all the nice. time. Nice. That does sound really, really good. Um, but what if your plug isn't right next to where the Echo is going to be sitting? Or what if you just want to be able to plug it directly into the plug? Wouldn't Whoa. that be nice? Wouldn't Whoa. that be nice? Yes. So. Enter the Amazon Echo Flex. No. This is the brand new one no. from Amazon, and really? it is literally a, a socket um, adapter thingy. It's, a, it's an Amazon Echo that you plug in. It's got the buttons on the face, huh. just, like you, uh, just like you expect to be able to mute the microphone or activate uh, without using the voice command in order to uh, command it. And what if they did something a little bit more. I mean, the connectivity on this, the physical connectivity, I should say, I mean, the wireless and the smart home connectivity is excellent, but the physical connectivity is a little bit lacking. Well, this one, the Amazon Echo Flex. Oh, it's got a USB port. It has a USB port. That's and, nice. And then what if, all hypothetical, right? No, it's not hypothetical at all. What if they brought out accessories, such as a motion sensor? Ooh. That no could just way. plug in like that. <gasps> or, say, a, a LED nightlight Ooh, that you could just nice. plug in like that. And these are smart home connected, so you're able to control them. Um, let's actually, I want to plug this in and see what happens. So I've just got this. Now, obviously, this is just like you see it here on your screen. You're going to plug this directly into the wall, presumably. Um, I'll just say the nice thing about this is the, the convenience, the portability, and the ability to plug it in anywhere. Right. Um, you're not going to get the same sound quality. I mean, we come to expect really good sound quality out of these guys. This one is really about the convenience and extending the smart home. So we've already got our smart home kind of built up. We've got some smart devices. We're able to control some lamps and things like that. So this now puts more microphones, some motion sensors and things like that around the house on the cheap. So I'm, I'm going to plug this in um, just like I would into the wall, and uh, let's see how difficult this is to, uh, to actually activate. So on my smartphone here, I'm going to add a device, and I'm going to go Amazon Echo, and let's scroll the list. Look at all the devices that they've got already. It's a growing line. Um, and there's the Echo Flex. Is it plugged in and orange? Yep. Select your Amazon Echo. There's only one. It already picked it up. Select your Wi-Fi network. All right, it's the first one. Perfect. Could it be that easy? I haven't even had to configure anything. Huh. So, but this will be connected to your specific device. Your Echo it's, is ready. Look at that. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it just showed right up in my app. Okay. Sweet. So now, okay, scroll through. It's connected to my Wi-Fi. I didn't have to configure that. Ooh. I've got all these, uh, all the options that you would expect from any Amazon Echo device. Now, I just saw it said a pair uh, a gadget. Sure. Is that, is that the devices that go at the bottom? Uh, well, let's let's try, Jeff. Um, I'm going to plug this guy in. Oh, first of all, here changing the wake word to. Cancel. <laughs> that was instant. <laughs> and then I want to plug this in. No, those are those are devices like if you have subwoofers or other peripherals. Oh, okay. But this guy, as soon as I plug it in, it's going to flash. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's connecting. I found first motion and sensor. It just stopped. Oh, to set up a routine triggered by first motion sensor, go there to the is. device detail page in the Alexa app. 
Nice. Okay. So now, Jeff, I'm going to add a routine. Okay. And I'm going to create new. And I'm going to add an action. And this really reminds me of like, if this, then that, right? Right. So exactly. I'm going to jump into my smart home because that's where this device is going to show up. And you can see there's my motion sensor. And if we detect motion, I want to do what? Let's add an action. So when the sensor detects motion, I, it says, and I cancel. <laughs> and I can select something. Welcome me. Okay. okay <laughs> cancel. <laughs> but let's let's go into my smart home and and look at my devices there's my christmas tree at the top for example okay? okay so let's just say turn it on so as soon as it detects motion it's going to turn on my christmas tree now, is this the christmas oh. tree you have at home yeah yes so, exactly so as you're moving that around your christmas tree is going nuts right now yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no, if it's already on, it's a, it, it's it's going to be on. But okay. now I can put this uh, in the hallway leading up to the room where the Christmas tree is. Right. And as soon as somebody walks by, if the Christmas tree is off, it will now turn on because okay. it's plugged into my smart power bar. Um, so now, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect this guy and plug in this, and let's just see what happens the first time that we plug this in. That's the nightlight you said. Yeah. Right? Oh, look at Ooh. that. Ooh. I found first light, and you can control it by saying, turn off first light. I love, what I love about this is how intuitive it is. Right. Anyone can figure this out. There's no instruction manual that I have to read. I'm just, so it just told me, so I'm going to try this. I'll turn on first light. Okay. Set first light to purple. Okay. I'll set first light to red okay now on camera you're not really seeing how red that really is no but we're seeing here, it oh. here in the hands. studio are you yeah yeah okay uh, in the it's it's interesting how led reacts to our 60 hertz cameras right uh, change first light to orange okay yep and there is a shift in the color yeah okay uh, change first light to purple Okay. Oh. There you go. Okay, you can see it on my hand, nice and clear. Now, apparently, that's the secret. Now, Marshman is saying in the chat room, yeah, you know, give her uh, instruction to change the color to whatever, but don't say okay. Is that an instruction you can give with this device? Because every time it's like okay, okay, okay. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> no, but I, like I'm thinking, for instance, cancel. You know, if you've got a kid who say has cancel. a night light in their room, yeah, yeah. Um, they might just say turn the light on yeah and you don't want to have this voice coming back to you in the middle of the night going okay sure i'll make that happen is this bright enough for you like is, is sure that something you can, you can set her off? to whisper or something you probably can just because jeff wants to know volume zero turn off the first light uh, volume eight Turn on first light. Okay. All right. Volume zero. Turn off first light. Turn on first light. Okay. Oh, she said it. All right. Does it matter? No, well, no, but I just, it was an interesting comment in the, in the chat room, and I was like, you know what, okay, that's a good question, especially if you've got, say, kids sleeping at night, because it is a nightlight. You could set it to be almost like a little bit of a gentle wake-up, too. Sure you could. Right? Yeah, and so you can, set, you can, set, you can it set it to automatically come on at certain times. Set it to... Oh. Turn off my first light. Okay. Can you set first light to come on at 7 a.m.? I don't know how to set first motion sensor to that setting. Oh, she thinks it's the first motion sen sensor. Um, so there are, you know, there's probably going to be help for that kind of stuff. Right. Yes. Whether, like, you can set up routines, though. So I in my app, I can set up the routine to do certain things. As I mentioned, it, it really has a reminiscent look to if this, then that. So yes. if a certain time is approached, automatically do whatever. 
Right. right. I would like it to change <laughs> colors, yeah. to be honest, at a certain just, time. Just like change. when it's within the, the, the next, like I have to wake up in the next hour, oh, yeah. change color to yeah. a different color so that when I kind of open my eyes it's and I not, see the wall. It's a nightlight. Like, it, this, this one is a nightlight, exactly. right? So this is the one that's going to go in the hall. Right. For what you want to do, I would get a smart uh, power bar. For example, and have it plugged into a lamp, and have it uh, have it turn on, or get one that oh. can fade up, for example. Or you can actually get smart lamps that will bring the the light up like sunlight, like a right. like a. Oh, yeah. So you get these various devices. So this particular one, again, it's it's really really it's cheap, and it's something that you can just plug in anywhere in the house, and it extends that. Um, that smart home, so that no matter where you are, it will play music. It uh, it can be uh, a controller for your voice-activated um, things throughout the house, and uh, and it's all done. It's the exact same. So the questions are like, can it do this? Can it do that? It's exactly the same as this guy, as far as the commands go. Right. So it could broadcast mm -hmm. to the whole family, to all devices. Like if dinner was yeah. ready, right? Like you could. Just talk to it. It and can. It and, talk, I, and, it and I don't want to demonstrate that. I do have some Echo devices at home, uh, but you can. Um, well, how could I do that? Drop in. Do you want to drop in on kitchen? Right. No. So I have an Alexa device okay. in my kitchen. That's why it asked. Oh, right? okay. Um, and I'm holding it like a walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to hold it like that. You're going to have it plugged in somewhere else in the house. And is it sensitive enough? I mean, oh. drop in. You can drop in right now because you're already in a conversation. Oh, cancel. Please ask me to I'll first before. Hang up. I didn't realize I was in a conversation. Oh, so home is listening. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the new Echo Flex. I mean, this is a really, really, I mean, I hate to use the term, but it's a smart device. Um, if it wasn't for such a dumb user, um, but you just literally just plug that in anywhere in your house or your office. Um, and we can have these anywhere. So as long as they have Wi-Fi connectivity, you can have devices at home. You can have devices at work. If you like, presumably, like in my situation, I'm in a small office, so I could have that at work, I could have one here at the studio, and I can use it to communicate with home. I can use it to listen to music uh, in various places. I can use the one at the studio to um, set up alerts that will notify me at home, for example. So it's just an extension of your smart home, and that's the uh, Echo Flex from Amazon. You can get one at cat5.tv slash echo. Now, given that it is something that you would be buying from Amazon, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for today's episode, and I mean, it is, uh, what are we? We are on uh, November 27th. That's right. We're about to come so up. So if you're watching live. Yeah, if you're watching live. <laughs> but if you're watching this recorded, this is done at November 27th. And so uh, Black Friday starts as of midnight. Right. So mm. in just a few short hours for Amazon, their Black Friday deal starts. So, I mean, if you're going to, if you're sitting there going, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to pick up a couple of these for the house. Mm -hmm. Don't forget our partner links. Because... <laughs> That's a way to kick back to us with a little bit of uh, cash in the jar so to help pay for all the stuff that we do here. And so if you're going to be buying your various devices or anything else from Amazon, maybe you're getting some early Christmas shopping, and don't forget to check That's that out. That's a good idea. Partner likes. Yeah. Not really if, like when. Yeah. <laughs> when. Exactly. You might when. as well take advantage of the sales. It's yeah. uh, category5.tv slash partners. We'll get you there.